Well, if it isn't, then you guys get to laugh at me for a little bit. But welcome to Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. I'll let the opening credits sequence. While my foes are legion, these five are potentially problematic. A noble predator, he believes himself to be. This Garuk wild speaker, brutal savage, merely a merciless killer. His impatience is my virtue. Jace Valerian's greatest strength is his greatest flaw. A supremely powerful mind, incapable of perceiving how he could rule all. But he's known in an unfathomable plan. Dun, dun, dun! Yes, this is Magic 2013. Uh, <clears throat> I am actually going to be recording all of this. Um, so, even outtakes and stuff. And I will warn you in advance that there will likely be a ton of rage. Um, simply because of how this game is. Or at least uh, how 20, 2012 was. Uh, by the way, I'm playing this on Planeswalker difficulty. Um, because that's the only way it should be done. Uh, should be good. Make it just look smoother. Good. Excellent. Uh, while, since I'm running my recording software as I, uh, as I play, I have to have limited things. But I have not played anything yet. This is all, um, all new. So you gotta get to see this. Oh, oh, you get to set, let's pick your thingy. Uh, no. What do we got? That guy's pretty cool. That was pretty awesome, too. Why don't they have any guy angels? I mean, seriously. Uh, yeah, I'll be that guy. Why not? Done. Okay. On to the campaign. Yes, my deck is in fact called my library. Here you have the Elvish Visionary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't care. That's pretty cool, though. I don't want the first video to be all, ooh, Chandelar. Uh, Chandelar is something that keeps popping up in the core set flavor text. But never actually gets um, uh, never gets referenced directly. Okay, so we have Garrick, but we've got Tolerand. So let's go ahead and play against Tolerand. Couple information about features. You want to play the tutorial? No. Excellent. Um, so I have not seen the decks yet, but let's go with sure. I'm not sure what sort of thing he is. So let's play. The one with the most synergy, and we'll see if that goes any better. Uh, starting in next videos, I'll um, uh, I'll start studying a little bit in advance, showing the decks off right now. But I want you guys to get my honest opinion from this. 
Also, there'll be a ton of rage. Yeah, this looks okay. I will keep. And run the play. I can't hit F6. Um, so, one of the things that really messed with me about Duels 2012, I think I got ten tangentified as I was starting this up, was um, that... Let me zoom in. Fine. Uh, zoom in there. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Good. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, Duels of Planeswalker 2012, when I tried to play on Planeswalker difficulty, one of the things they did was screw your draws up so badly, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of ridiculous. Okay. You can have a 0-2... Yep, I don't care. Should have turned off the tutorial things. White spells you cast cost one less. Um, question is, do we play a Warhammer first? It'd be Warhammer into Peace Rider into Equip Swing, or Pearl Medallion and having um, extra life gain. Yeah, I think I think I'll just play the Warhammer. Don't show again. Yeah, blah, blah 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 blah. Excellent. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys will like this. If you guys have anything in particular you guys want me to talk about as I go through this, just let me know. And uh, it'll be great. Ooh, I love me my my six six flying life links. Um, that's 30 or more life. I think I cast a Peace Strider here. Playing and equipping a Sarah Ascendant doesn't do much, so I'll just play myself a Peace Strider next turn. Equip, bash, okay, so he plays counter spells. Makes sense, he's a blue mage. Luckily we still have a Sarah Ascendant. Something that gains a, you know, a ton of life, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Skywinder Drake, eh? Yeah. So he's the, the flying deck. Deals combat damage, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Or Sarah send it. We could cast Pearl Medallion and uh, Slith Ascend, which I think is going to be the plan. So I don't think they would be mean and have tons of one mana counter spells. Don't show again. So now we can equip Swing if he doesn't leave his guy back to block. Oh, he did leave his guy back to block. Okay. So we'll just play this planes. We could still equip swing, but instead... I don't know, I don't want to have my Sarah send it counter, countered. So... Eh, it's, if he wants to counter it, he can. We have Lightbind Ritual, which will gain us 10 life. Um, there we go. Okay, excellent. Um, so next turn, hopefully we get to cast a Light Bind Ritual, gain a ton of life, swing, gain more life, play with, play with a, <laughs> a not typically good strategy. Ooh, okay, you can create a copy of my Sarah Ascendant. And a zero four. Good job. Now I know you don't have counter spell mana up, so I'm gonna beat with a six six that he actually can't block efficiently. So Bam That's prevent all damage to and by, right? 
so we actually don't. No, I don't care. Defender fly. Oh, it has flying too. Okay, I should have known because it was all wavy. Uh, zoom out. So we don't get to uh, beat this turn. We just have our six six. Next turn, we get to equip. Um, so that way we start punching in for damage. Because otherwise, we we don't we don't even gain the life because damage doesn't get dealt. Now we get to equip activate ability on that thing. That guy gets to smash your face. See what he has. So I deal two, then seven. And gain seven life. Again, and let's play a core cartographer or a Kemba Skyguard. Doesn't really matter too much. I think I'll just play a cartographer. Oh wait, that's a three, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Kemba it is. I can't. I'm so used to zooming in on. Uh, ah, there we go. Excellent. So used to zooming in on uh, Moto. That. Uh, it feels weird when I try and left click, but I find the scroll the scroll function is quite useful. No, not now. Uh, so we get to attack with this thing, and if we beat with anything else. He just gets to trade it off. So we'll just beat. I'll put my planes in case I draw another one of those, and let's play a cartographer. We still have enough for solemn, solemn offering mana. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. Turn to instant or sorcery. Oh, no. No, no, don't. I misclicked. Continue. So you can return right of replication. So next turn, you get to right of replicate, but not kick something. So you could make your own guy. So we beat with everything. He has two flyers. We have three. We. Even just attacking with Sarah Ascendant should be enough, since. He can prevent six or three damage out of the nine. But just to be safe, we attack with all the flyers. Boom. I mean there's really no feasible way we're we're losing this one, so. Yeah. And extra damage. There we go. Ooh, look. Achievement! Yes, I defeated him. Wow. That's a little creepy. And achievements. Okay. Campaign ladder. Excellent. So, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to when I started this, so hold up one sec. Uh, let's see. Did it pause? Yeah, so it didn't pause. I apologize that I have to keep swapping back in between, but that's what I'm going to have to be doing. So, uh, I think that's going to be the end for part one for now. Oh, look, a couple of encounters. I may or may not want to do those. We'll see. But this is going to be the end of part one. Um, please leave your comments down below of what you want to see. I'll prepare more for the next one, but this is just a... I've been kind of procrastinating, so I wanted to, uh, to actually you know, start going here and make some progress. So let me know if you guys want to see the encounters, or you want me just to do the planeswalkers, if you want me to do revenge, or plane chase, or the challenges, or anything else. Thank you guys very much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And you get to see my amazing, amazing background.